is Jay, aka That So Jay, and I am back with another video for the Authorpreneur series. Now, this video is going to give you another little how to, some tips, some pointers on all of it just becoming an author. But with this video, we're going to talk about how to self publish a children's book series or a book series if you may not necessarily be doing a children's book, but just giving you guys some tips and some pointers on writing a series. So a lot of times when we think of series, we think of like Harry Potter, or Hunger Games, or Twilight. Books where there are multiple books and it's kind of like a continuous thing to where you read the book and you're, the last page just kind of gives you that cliffhanger of what's going to happen next or oh my god, does this person survive? Or it gives you that excitement. Kind of like when you're watching a movie, you want to see the sequel or the next. So that's one type of series another way we can look at a series is where we look at for um like dr seuss he had a whole bunch of books and they all had that same dr seuss flow and rhythm but every book was different different characters but we always knew we always could tell a dr seuss by the, the silly words or the rhyming um another popular children's book that had a very similar flow was the berenstain bears um it was the same characters but a different story a different topic not necessarily a sequel but just more so um a continuation um of those those characters so i like to think of my book as more as that because every book is different but every book is has a different lesson or a different moral but it's not necessarily a continuation but they all are very similar so some things that i want you guys to keep in mind when starting a series is that you don't have to write a whole bunch of books at once i think a lot of times with children's book series people ask me like did you write all of these at once or do you have them just all written already? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do not. I've kind of recently started. So my biggest advice would be to take your time. So if you start one book, well, this is actually my first book. My first book was Jaden and Jaden, The Great Big Messy Room. So I released this book and I didn't necessarily plan for it to be a series but i kind of figured that i wanted to see more topics and people started to give me suggestions and then a few months later i came out with jada and jaden the great bit the ah, what is wrong with me today jada and jaden the bumpy bike ride so the one thing that i would definitely say when writing a series is that you want to keep a lot of similarities so like i said my books necessarily aren't like that older audience cliffhanger type books but they all follow one another so i like to keep all of my books with the same flow as they all have the same title so every book is always called jada and jaden and then it always has a subtitle so for instance how you have um harry potter and then it says in the sorcerer's stone or the chamber of secrets so that subtitle is what kind of gives you this is a book from this series but this is a uh, another book in that series so that kind of i don't know if that makes too much sense so that kind of gives you that pattern to where when you see it you know that hey this is a jaden and jaden book or hey this is you know that book and that makes you say oh i don't have this one so something that i will also say to do is you want the design to look the same so if my books were in stores which goal is one day they will be they all look very similar they're all the same size they have the same characters on the front. They're bright colors. You want it to be recognizable to where um, they all kind of could tell this is a Jada and Jaden book without necessarily having to flip through the pages. Kids can recognize the characters. They can just see the format of the book is all similar. So you want to keep that same consistency to where you don't want to have one book from your series is like an 8 by 10 and it's all these dark gloomy colors. And then the next book you come out is like bright yellow with different people on the cover. It's going to look very jumbled and like not like it's all one thing um another thing to also keep that consistency with the look is i like to keep the illustrations very similar there is a page that i have in here and they actually so i have this page and i love it it's bright colored and then in my jada and jaden the stinky smelly day 
the pages let me see if i can kind of put these pages together the pages kind of look very similar so i like that because i stuck with i stuck with the same illustrator and i think that's also something that's very important when you're writing a book especially a series that you keep with the same illustrator or the same graphic designer because you want your books to look very similar now if you do end up saying hey i worked with this person but now i want to go with someone else um not saying that that person can't kind of replicate but if that i don't know i would prefer that people kind of stick with the same illustrator just for fairness i know my illustrator would be a little upset if i did hire someone else to kind of do her work because the illustrations were her design um, her idea of how the children look so I feel like it would be kind of stealing in a way that's just my opinion but that is something I guess I would definitely consider okay so going into kind of like the actual content the actual storyline so it is very very important that the storylines are very similar so for example with my book every single book teaches a lesson so when you read a Jada and Jaden book your child will always learn something that is consistent that is something that does not change all of my stories also rhyme so when you read a story you will also have that same rhythm that same pattern so like I said you can definitely feel like oh this is another Jada and Jaden book that's fun it's rhyming they learn a lesson at the end the stories are very same the are very much the same the length is also the same i also do 15 stanzas my book is always about 20 pages it's very thin but when you look at it front and back so just keeping that same length that same flow of writing all of that is still very much the same like i said i use the examples of the more well-known series such as the harry potter book we all knew growing up harry potter books were like this thick <laughs> no matter what book you bought from that series they were all this thick and it was because jk Rowling really kept that consistency she knew what her readers liked and she never disappointed in every series so that was something that she was very consistent with and i feel like that definitely contributed to her success um another thing like i said is make sure your plot um, if you are doing more of like a chapter book where it's like a cliffhanger, where it's like, oh, read the next book to find out what happens to this character or who dies or what what's going to happen, what do they go, like, then make sure your book is going to start where the last book left off. So if you're getting your readers super excited to get that next book and they're reading it and none of their questions were answered that they had from the previous book, that's going to be very disappointing. You know, we all have watched a movie and watched the sequel and we're like, uh, the sequel wasn't that good or the sequel was just... It, it, it just didn't do it for me. You don't want to disappoint your readers and give them bad quality or just don't you know don't keep it the same or you don't answer things so that is very important another thing like i said when you are really trying to please your readers get your readers feedback so a lot of times with me i will always ask parents like hey what would you guys like to see in jada and jaden what would what would you like them to learn so i'm always engaging with my customers going on live asking questions because once you have built a fan base I feel like you need to respond to them. If they say, hey, I think Jaden and Jaden should go to the zoo. I think Jaden and Jaden should learn um, about bullying or learn about manners. I listen because they're the ones that are buying. They're the ones that are supporting. So I feel like they 100% should have input or have say because that makes that is what's going to make my books very likable. Like it's going to people are going to say, wow, that was my idea. She put it in a story. So that's something very important. Another thing that will also satisfy your customer is to not wait so long in between series. So I made the huge mistake between these two books, okay? This book came out March 2019 and then I had this book. <laughs> this book literally just came out last weekend. Okay, so y'all see the big gap. and. It was because I was very new and I don't want to say I like 
it was because I was still kind of building the brand. I was not experienced. I was kind of learning. But now that I've created that excitement, people like my books, people want the next one, I would never make my customers wait another year. So if you're watching this and you were like, girl, I bought your book two years ago. I was waiting for you to drop a second and a third one. I apologize. Like, it is not happening again. I'm like legitly already started writing on my next couple stories. So don't keep your customers kind of waiting too long like if you do have a book and you know you want to do a sequel or another book a part of that series don't wait two years over a year like I did um definitely just keep that momentum of going now that is not to say you know overdo it and drop a book every week or every two weeks because that's a little unrealistic especially when you are working with illustrators you're working with editors and you are kind of relying on other people so don't force yourself to try to reach this outrageous deadline that's not realistic but if you want to do like hey every month i release a book or every two months so that kind of gives you time to like build up customers but to also remember um that you're not putting out rushed bad quality so <sighs> i think that is all for the children's book series or just the book series if you have any other questions um please comment down below and i will ask them please ask me anything about the writing like i said i really do want to do a seminar or something special for you guys because i've been seeing so many people have been emailing me dming me about wanting to write a children's book or wanting to publish a book and i definitely definitely want to go over that with you guys but if you do want a one-on-one -on -one consultation a step-by-step -step guide someone to be there for you and really help you give you the resources the um just all of that then please book a consultation with me at thatsojaya.com if you are interested in purchasing one of my children's books then please go to jada and jaden series.com all of this information will be in the description box so do not worry um i cannot wait to hear from you guys if you guys also want to email me my email is also going to be in the description box that's that so at gmail.com um yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in i definitely want to give you guys some more day in the life some more authorpreneur series and i'm also in graduate school to be a speech pathologist so make sure you guys are checking out my grad school series and some of my lifestyle videos that i have coming out but thank you guys so much for watching